Hello again. I was really enjoying the music. Thank you very much for getting us all in a great mood. Well, welcome back to part two of the evening. I'm Alison Tay, and um, we're going to continue talking about groundbreaking trends. First, I'm going to ask you a question. Where do trends come from? Anyone have any ideas? Influences, okay. Modern. Anyone else? Any more ideas? Well. Traditionally, the place where trends started and I feel like I'm 100 years old saying this, was the catwalk. So when I first started my career, which as some of you may know, was over 20 years ago in London, um, trends were shown on the catwalk a season ahead. So the catwalk seasons, does anyone know the catwalk seasons? Any ideas? There are four collections a year, spring, summer, which counts as one, autumn, winter, which counts as another, resort and pre-fall. So the big luxury fashion brands, for the most part, respect that fashion cycle. So when I first started, the first time you'd see a look, a catwalk look, would be on the catwalk. Obviously, there was no social media. There were no influencers. So the first people that would see the new designs from the catwalk were fashion buyers and fashion press. 20 years ago, of course, I was an assistant. So I wasn't anywhere near the front row. In fact, there was once a show that I was desperate to see and I didn't have a ticket and I tried to get in and they wouldn't let me go in. So... I hid in the toilets until the lights went down. And when, the light, when it was dark, I came out of the toilet so I could watch a show. So before shows were live streamed on social media, the only place you could see them was in real life. In London, Paris, New York and Milan. Um, we didn't have camera phones. So we had to get really... Can anyone imagine, can anyone think of how you would remember a catwalk look if you didn't have a camera phone or a camera? Any ideas? <laughs> you would draw it. So you had to be really, really good at sketching fast. My sketch is terrible, but it's a real art and a real skill. So believe it or not, when I first started, we were I was standing at the back with a notepad and a pencil drawing the looks. And bear in mind, you have like Chanel will have over 70 looks in a show. You have to be really fast and really good at drawing. So that was 20 years ago. And inspirations from the catwalk for the catwalks came from films, exhibitions, art, social issues, travel. Um, you, you can speak to endless amount of designers and they will all get their inspirations from endlessly different sources. And that's what makes fashion truly, truly exciting. So as I said, it was only fashion editors and buyers at the shows. Therefore, um, the audience would get their information about the latest trends from fashion magazines. So fashion magazines at the time were the gatekeepers of these looks. Fast forward 10 years. And that changed. The center of gravity and power shifted from the catwalk designers to celebrities. And then it since filtered down from celebrities to music to influencers and bloggers and street style to Instagram. So now trends don't follow the top down catwalk, high street, real people. It's a continual swirl and circle of inspiration and innovation. So now, the inspiration for trends can come from anybody and anywhere. And that's what makes it so exciting. However, rewind 12 months. 
we all know what happens. So we've had no catwalk shows, no street style, films stop production, museums and art galleries closed, and everybody's circle of influence got smaller. And rightly so, if any of you caught our talk on Wednesday, concerns about sustainability and overproduction became, came to the forefront and we were all dressed up with nowhere to go. So that brings us to today. And I think that we're in a really interesting place when it comes to trends. I would urge all of you to shop mindfully and with a purpose and decide how you want your wardrobe to make you feel. Do you want to feel empowered, strong, happy, confident, like somebody else for the day? Now, I believe, and what you're going to see shortly, is that trends and anything that we wear should have an element of op optimism, of versatility, of comfort, and of staying power. What I mean by that is it, sh it should make you happy. You should, be able, you should be able to wear it more than once and keep it for longer. And, it should, and you should feel good in it. Those are the things that I want you to think about when you shop, as well as what the trends are. I think, I think you can interweave all of those elements into anything you wear. So without further ado, I'm going to talk through this gorgeous rail I have here from Etoile La Boutique and Jimmy Choo. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yes. With no audience. In fact, yes, Giorgio Armani was the first designer at Milan Fashion Week to actually do a catwalk show without an audience. It was nice, yeah. Um, Armani shows are phenomenal, really, honestly. They're an, all shows are an experience. I'm really lucky to have, you know, from a very, very young age, been backstage, had, you know, see the trends come to life, um, have Kardashians and Jenners backstage and modeling. So there is nowhere more exciting. And with the decentralization of trends, I am lucky enough to have experienced it firsthand. So um, I'm biased, but I really believe in the catwalk and still continue to believe it's brilliant. Absolutely, there's nothing like it. So let's talk about optimism. You, as you all know, I love color. I love vibrance. I, I think you can really change your energy with a really bright color. And I think we've done that really well today. Let me, let me talk you through some of them. Now, this is a super cute look. This jump is from Etro, a family-run Italian brand. And any of you who were at the accessories talk earlier will know how to color pop your accessories. Who would have a bag this small? What would you keep in a bag this size? Lipstick, credit cards. For yes, a flip phone. So this is like mega cute. And what I'm gonna show you as we go into the next look is you can flip it and mix and match. Because when I, when I speak about longevity and versatility, that's what I mean. Not just having one look that you wear together, but one you can mix up, I'll show you. These trousers are from Etro too. Already you've got a ready-made look. And the more versatility you can have in your wardrobe, the better, especially with separates. This beautiful gypsy blouse seen here with this just 
wonderful perspex and snake effect bag obsessed they look great with these trousers similarly you could also you could also swap it in with this so it's really great if you could get pieces that you love and have some fun with them Again, these shoes are great, and I would encourage you to swap around. Who's a flats girl here and who's a heels girl? Flats? Both? Both? Heels or flats? Heels or flats? 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 <laughs> heels or flats? Heels. I think we've, so we've, so we've got a mix. We've got a mix. So an interesting way, in fact, who here is on team matching or team color popping? How would you wear this? that so you can see it so you can see it clearly who would who would wear the matching set and who would break it up matching 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 you'd break it up you'd break it up i'd break it up as well but these are so gorgeous i'd have them all <laughs> really gorgeous so jimmy chu as i'm sure you know malaysian born shoemaker the creative director of the company now is his niece, Sandra Troy. Phenomenal woman. Now, when I talk about optimism and dopamine dressing, so dressing to make you feel good, what I have in mind are rainbow looks like this. I would wear this all day, every day. Let me tell you a bit more about it. Now, the rainbow colours here are by a British, British designer called Olivia Rubin, and she's really, really well known for rainbow everything. She never met a rainbow she didn't like, and I think that really, really comes through in her designs. This sequin striped skirt, she repeats every season in different colours, different kinds of shades of rainbows and different kind of permutations. It's become... For me, I think a modern classic. And the best thing about rainbows is they always match. Now we've started them here with These Trainers by Sophia Webster. Her trademark is a butterfly. And what I really love about Sophia Webster, as well as her color palette, is the fact that like a lot of designers, she's realized it's important not only to show clothes, but to show a glimpse of your life. It doesn't suit everybody, but if you go on Sophia Webster's Instagram, you'll see her family, you'll see she does, you, you'll see she does these hip hop dance classes and she is an incredible dancer. I absolutely urge you to check her out because she dances just as well, if not better, than she designed shoes. And to have a glimpse of the people that make your clothes. Um, when I was here on Wednesday night, I said, I think it's really important that you know who makes your clothes, where they come from. I think we really need to have that connection to what we wear. And when you see Sophia Webster doing a hip hop R&B dance routine, you know you've got someone super fun, that loves life, that has absolutely great energy. And um, that's how you get a trainer like this. Yeah, I think we all need good vibes. Who agrees? 
Absolutely. We don't have enough. Now this lilac dress, which is one of my favourite colours this season, is a brand called Solace London. And they're really well known for their kind of bright, bold, futuristic vibes. And I think this lilac dress is a real showstopper. Obviously with the gorgeous Jimmy Choo top handlebag. For all you fans of matching shoes and bags, I'll hold this up so you can see it. Aren't these gorgeous? Really nice. And um, I'm sure you all know that pearls look really gorgeous next to the skin. So they'll really, really give you a lift. As well as a lift. This is another gorgeous brand, Needle and Thread. Who's been watching Bridgerton? <laughs> so again, I think... We all have a bit of a thirst for nostalgia at the moment. Really, really gorgeous vintage vibes with stunning embroidery detail. I think it's, again, it's a matter of getting closer to your clothes. And I think this illustrates that beautifully. Finally... The 80s are back. This stunning ombre, another look from Solace London. And hopefully, we'll all have some parties to go to soon when we can wear dresses like this. I think what's the most, what, what I want you to remember from today is making trends your own and concentrating on the vibe and going with what makes you happy. And I think that um, Etoile and Jimmy Choo have really, really shown ha us how to do that today. Does anyone have any questions? Well, if no one has any questions, I'd like to thank Etoile, Jimmy Choo, the Galleria, Rita Lavadavi, and I will look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us tonight.